only two of us get to serve our finale meal. I'm in fight mood. There's no other way to put it. I can see in Eric and Sarah's faces, they're also in fight mood. Mm. I want to compete against the best person and win. That's a big stage, y'all. I see you, stage. I have no idea what's going on right now. Uh. What? My entire life, I've been underestimated, and I love it. Yay! Good job. Good job. <laughs> Your odds just improved. It's great. I enjoyed it a lot. Me too. <laughs> you know, Kelsey is the first chef that's a caterer that's really come this far. And she's used to her advantage. She's also playing to restrain taking food that she grew up with using a modern approach to great success. For the win, we have Chef Kelsey. Yay! The winner is Kelsey. <laughs> yeah, girl. Oh, my God. <gasps> hey, buddy. Are you walking? Coming on Top Chef was the hardest decision I've ever made. But I didn't come all this way to fail. I want to have that title and be able to say, this was the hardest thing I've ever done, and it was the best thing I've ever done. There could not be a better life lessons to teach my son than that. What is that? That is so cool. <laughs> this is so stressful. This dish will send me to the finale. I feel confident in that. If I go home now, I'm going to be pissed. My dish is cornbread and buttermilk. The whole concept of the dish is you break up the cornbread, and then you pour it on top. Like this? Crumble it, yes. It's supposed to be kind of crumbled up. And does the buttermilk go over everything? It does. My inspiration for my entire meal is summers in the south, specifically Alabama. You go to your grandmother's house at 4 o'clock, there's cornbread on the table, there's chilled buttermilk, there's watermelon. And you have boiled peanuts in here, too. I do. I didn't know you were doing that. You didn't know I was doing boiled peanuts? Yeah. You guys didn't know each other were? No, because if she would have told me she was doing boiled peanuts, I would have been like, I can't do boiled peanuts. This looks better today, y'all. Hi. Hi, Kelsey. Hi. This is cornbread and buttermilk, to put it simply. I've got a little bit of crawfish in there, boiled peanuts, cucumber, watermelon. My instructions are to break up the cornbread in the bowl, and you pour the buttermilk on top. And this is a very classic Southern combination. If you grew up in the South, I grew up in Alabama, as you'd walk in, you'd see your grandfather with a cup of buttermilk with cornbread in it, eating it with a spoon like cereal. Thank you. I was pleasantly surprised. I love the flavors that were working. What was most important was she got the cornbread right. Wow. That was very Yay. important. Oh, that's huge. <laughs> yeah. Gotta go out there, Gus. Good. It's like this idea of southern food being really heavy, but then it comes and it's really light, refreshing, and I think it's really exciting to start the meal that way. I think it probably is a little bit too nuanced, um, but I think what's really lovely is all the textural differences, the peanuts, the green strawberry, and of course it was presented so beautifully. I'm enjoying Kelsey's dish. I enjoyed it yesterday. I'm enjoying it more today. I think it's more complex today. I think Kelsey's dish is very successful. Yeah. Chef, do you want the oysters ice cold, room temperature? I think cold. OK. <laughs> Chef, you, what time do you want me to hit sauce? Let's go. Let's go. This is an all-hands-on-deck dish for sure. If this dish sits for one minute over, then it's going to be cooked throughout, and that's not what we're going for. It's supposed to be raw on the inside. That's beautiful. Just make sure they face that way. Got it? Mmm. Gorgeous. This is a very classic French dish. It's fine declare oysters out of France, the chissois, Chinese chives, pickled green tomato, and what we call in the South is a cheese straw, a fancy cheese it <laughs> That really is just what, to me, Top Chefs has been, is taking little pieces from everywhere and putting them into my dishes. This dish puts a smile on my face. Thank you. <laughs> I'm really glad. Thank you, Kelsey. I appreciate it. They loved it. Killed that one. The fact that Kelsey had the confidence to back to back do two dishes that are very soft, very delicate, very nuanced, and to still wow us, it's very impressive. It fills up all your mouth. I mean, it was like had a lot of, of umami. You, know? mm -hmm. you, you can feel the dried ingredients there. The bichisua is perfectly made. I'm going to say that this dish is one of the best dishes I've eaten this wow. year, actually. Wow. Yes, yes, yes. The soup itself was just, sort of just beautifully pureed. It was rich and thick, but not cloying. A lot of chef right now is just using a lot of salt, a lot of vinegar, a lot of sugar. But this is a nice change. All right, what am I doing? What do you need me to do? I can't top that. Why did I do that? Should have made that last. 
Chef, I got one more crab here ready if you want to try it. There's no way this crab's about to beat that. Nope, I should have switched them. Where are Walk the servers? It. Get some. All right. Hey, y'all. Thank you. This is soft shell crab and field peas. The sauce is a pastu with herbs I found at the red market. How do you want us to be eating this? Don't be afraid to pick it up and dip it. Soft shell crab absorbs immediately. The sauce on top would have mushed it, is the whole idea of keeping it separate. Kelsey, there's only one course left. One more. Thank you all so much. Bye. <laughs> what else is there? Whipped cream, ice cream, ice cream's in that little boy. We're adding a little surprise to this dish by doing a honeysuckle ice cream and Szechuan whipped cream. I think this is beautiful. What do you think? I think it looks great. I needed to finish strong for myself, and I wanted to feel confident leaving, and I do now. I'm going canal. OK. Get the biscuits on. Your plates look ugly. Very, very Just ugly. like your face, David. <laughs> Okay, let's go. Oh, wow. Oh, canals. This is the finale of my inspiration journey. Peach cobbler. One of my favorite things about Alabama is farm stands. They're everywhere. We'd usually get tomatoes, watermelon, peaches. And when the peaches were just starting to go bad, my mom would make cobbler. Do you want to taste jasmine? I have a honeysuckle tea I'm using and some Szechuan. It's a Szechuan peppercorn in the, the whipped cream. Whipped cream? Yes. Yep. Are you happy with your meal? I'm very happy with it. The most important thing to me was that I accomplished each dish today and made myself proud and my family proud, and I feel like I did. So I wasn't going to cry. <laughs> but yeah. Coming on Top Chef was impossibly hard, and I did it. And so I'm thrilled. I'm just thrilled. Here's to you, my Thank love. you all. I appreciate yeah. it so much. Thank you. <laughs> Kelsey, you are top chef. Oh, I'm so happy. Congratulations. Go hug your family. I just won top chef. <laughs> you did it. I think I'm completely in shock. It is so surreal, and literally all I wanted was to make my family proud. Kelsey, your meal from, from start to finish was just fantastic. You told your story. You told on a plate. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Nene, Brandon. Thank you all so much. Everybody. <laughs>